my brothers and sisters, good evening. This is the evening prayer for Thursday, February 3rd, 2022, Thursday of the fourth week in Ordinary Time. Let us begin our prayer this evening in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Your love, Lord, reaches to heaven, your truth to the skies. To you we pray. In the evening, brothers and sisters, when our strength is worn low by the day behind us, and the darkness of night awaits us, it is easy to grow downcast. Let us put our hope in Christ, our Savior, our strength, and our joy. And let us pray. I love you, Lord, my strength my rock, my fortress, my savior. My God is the rock where I take refuge, my shield, my mighty help, my stronghold. The Lord is worthy of all praise. When I call, I am saved from my foes. The waves of death rose about me. The torrent of destruction assailed me. The snares of the grave entangled me. The traps of death confronted me. In my anguish, I called to the Lord. I cried to my Lord for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came to his ears. The Lord thundered in the heavens. The Most High let his voice be heard. From on high he reached down and seized me. He drew me forth from the mighty waters. He snatched me from my powerful foe, from my enemies whose strength I could not match. They assailed me in the day of my misfortune, but the Lord was my support. He brought me forth into freedom. He saved me because he loved me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. A reading from the first book of Peter. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. And on this Thursday evening, my brothers and sisters, let us read and recite and pray the Canticle of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. As evening comes upon the world, brothers and sisters, we ask on behalf of all in need, and the response is, we hope in you, O God. We hope in you, O God. For those who have been deceived, cheated, and betrayed, restore their trust in others and in you. We hope in you, O God. For the weak and weary, strengthen them with the light and fidelity of Christ. We hope in you, O God. For those who are tempted to take their own lives, renew them in hope and in courage. We hope in you, O God. For those who live in places where no one is permitted to go before your altar, Grant them the freedom to worship in their hearts until they can worship you in public. We hope in you, O God. Now let us offer to God our own personal intentions culled from the silence of our hearts. We hope in you, O God. And on this Thursday evening here, let us recite the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father, as Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May the God of peace himself make us perfect in holiness. May he preserve us whole and entire spirit, soul, and body irreproachable at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. From the first book of Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 23. And let us end our evening prayer, brothers and sisters, with the Salve Regina. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. 
To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile show us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, a world without end. Amen. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>